when you first start geometry class you are faced with a lot of new symbols and notation and way of writing things that you haven't seen before so I wanted to do a short little talk about these symbols that you may not be familiar with um, the symbols reflect in most cases what they are representing so for example um, if I take and we talked about some of this in the basics of geometry video but I want to expand on it a little bit more now so let's say we have you know some point A and point B the line segment that connects these two is a B with just a bar over it okay and that would be a line segment but let's say that I had actually extended it forever into an actual line okay so here's a and here's B and it's actually going through those points and it's a whole line that's going on forever then this would be AB with a double-headed arrow over it and that is a line and this is line segment AB and this is line AB okay let's talk about a couple of other things uh, let's talk about angles. So let's say that we had some angle here. You know, where we have some angle, and we'll say that this is, these are rays going on forever, and we have some points here and point here, and let's say this is called A, B, C. Well, the angle, okay, the angle itself, the object itself, the angle is A, B, C. Or that would be the same as writing angle C, B, A. Because if you notice, what I'm doing is I'm starting on one end, A and I'm tracing around the angle. I'm going A to B to C, right? Or I could do it backwards and start with C and go C to B down to A. And they're really the same thing. And they're the same thing because the middle letter is always, always, always the vertex. okay it's the vertex of the angle and the other two letters on the ends are the two endpoints here the two endpoints are going out the rays so AC or CA it doesn't matter because I'm just getting that and it's the same angle now please distinguish that the the this is the object the angle as like a thing right but let's say we measured it and let's just say that the angle happens to measure we'll say 42 degrees because 42 is the answer to life the universe and everything um, so let's say that the angle is actually 42 degrees so differentiate this from the measure of angle a b c that equals well, which would be the same as saying measure of angle C, B, A. Those are again the same thing. That is 42 degrees. So notice that writing it this way, okay, writing it this way, this is talking about an object. This is a thing. This is a thing. It's the angle itself. Writing it this way, you're talking about a numerical value 
You're talking about the actual number value, the numerical value of the angle itself. Okay, so just make sure you recognize that there's two different things there. There's the angle and then its measure. And we denote this by this little measure m. A lowercase m means measure. Okay, and then that means that we can actually give it a number value. Okay, so for example, it would be incorrect to say that angle ABC is 42 degrees. That is incorrect, okay? That's incorrect. Because the angle itself does not have a measure, uh, excuse me, the angle itself is not a measure, but it, rather it has a measure, and so we would write it like that up there, okay? So just something to think about. Now, let's look at some other types of diagrams. Um, so let me zoom in here because I want to make sure we see this clearly. Okay. So if we look at some of these diagrams here, look at what we can tell. Okay. And like I said, the, um, the, the symbols uh, reflect what uh, the information is. So here we have a diagram. We have some lines. Um, line C is a line. Notice the, the label right there for line C. Line B. Line A. These are different lines. And then there's a couple of little line segments. Line segment UT and line segment... Where's my green? Here we go. So we have line segment UT and line segment SR, okay? So here's line segment SR, here's line segment UT. And notice these two little red dashes going across it, and these two little red dashes. Those little red dashes mean that they are congruent, which means that they are the same length, okay? That's the same kind of ge geometrical equivalence. So this is congruent to this, meaning they have the same length, they have the same properties, and they're, they're kind of um, duplicates of the same thing. So we would write this special equal sign with a tilde over it, and this means congruent, which means in geometry it's a fancy way of saying equal because in geometry we don't just have number values, right? When we looked at the angle measures, we had to differentiate between the actual measure of the angle and the angle itself, right? So we have more than just number values now. We have actually things that we're trying to say are equal to each other, and a thing is not really equal to another thing. Um, we say that it is congruent, not equal, okay? If it has all the same properties. Over here, this is pretty self-explanatory. That little mark right there means that these are perpendicular lines. And so we can say that line CB, okay, line CB, which is this line here, is perpendicular to line CE. You see why? line CB is perpendicular to line CE. Okay, so that's the symbol that means perpendicular. Which means they are 90 degrees apart from each other or it's a right angle. It's a right angle, okay? Okay, here's one and can you see that these two little marks right here in these angles are both red? Well, that means that the angles are congruent. So that means that the angles have the same measure and they have the same kind of characteristics. And so we could say here that angle B, C, D, okay, angle B, C, D, and angle B, D, C. So this first one is B, C, D. It's this, it's this angle right here. See that? And then the second one here, B, D, C, is B, D, 
DC. Notice that I'm going this way now, and so it's that one right there. All right, so I've got BCD and BDC, and they're the same, which is what those little marks tell me, so I can say that they are congruent. Okay? All right, here is one that uh, has these little red, um, almost looks like, kind of like if you turn it sideways, a little fast forward, you know, or like a little video play button. So what that means is that they are parallel. It means that these two lines are parallel. So we would say that line FE, and it's a line, right? Line FE is parallel, right? It's kind of a self-explanatory symbol. Parallel to HG. FE is parallel to HG, and this is the symbol for parallel which means they have the same slope and they never they never cross okay okay here we have some strange looking field goal uh, goal post kind of a thing um, a couple of things that we know here we know that these two are perpendicular to each other and then we know that these two see those two little things there that means that those are congruent and when I say those I'm talking about this segment is congruent to this segment. Do you see how, how the marks are relevant there? The mark there and the mark there. It's actually talking about going to point S. Okay? So there's two things we can say about this scenario. We can say that ST, okay, and it's a line segment this time, is perpendicular to RU, RU coming across here. Okay, ST is perpendicular to RU. And we can also say, and, and we can say that US is congruent to SR. Okay. US is congruent to SR. Okay, see that? What's going on in this diagram? Well, there's a couple of things we can say. We can say that line S and line T are parallel to each other. See that? And we can also say that this is a um, little bit here is perpendicular. So we can say that line S and I'm using a lowercase s there, or you can just write a little s, it doesn't matter, is perpendicular to lowercase t. Okay? Um, or you can just write, you know, a regular lowercase t and not try to make it scripty. Either one's the same. And then you can also, again, that's where I'm getting the labels from, s and t. And you can also say that line segment dc, as a line segment, is perpendicular to line U. Line U. Okay? Or just a regular, you don't have to make it look so scripty if you don't want to. Line U. Here's a few more examples. Whoa! There's a lot going on here. Well, look, here's what this means. See how you have three little um, tick marks inside the angle there and there? That just means that they're congruent. Um, and it comes in handy. We won't see any on this page, but it comes in handy if you're saying, like, okay, like these two are congruent, but then some other angles over here, they're congruent to each other, and these are congruent to each other. You can mark these with three and these with two. You know what I mean? So you have a way of differentiating. Same goes for line segments. So here we can say, that VW, ha, ah, Volkswagen, VW line segment is congruent to WX line segment. And we can also say that VTW, the angle VTW, right? Angle VTW, which is VTW right there, is congruent to angle WTX is congruent to this one right here, WTX. Okay? 
over here, um, here we have congruent marks on this large, this obtuse angle and this obtuse angle. So we could say that, and then these two um, line segments are congruent. So we can say that line segment GE is congruent to GF. And we can say that this angle, so DEF, angle DEF, and I notice I'm naming it as DEF. See how I'm doing that? DEF is congruent to angle CFE. CFE. Okay. Okay, and um, okay. So here we have some different kind of instructions. Right, if the statement is given, uh, statement given is indicated by the marks on the diagram. So the statement given is CD line CD, which is here, is parallel to line EF, and that is indeed given on the diagram. So yes. VU line segment, which is here, VU line segment, perpendicular to RU. Well, first of all, there is no RU drawn in. We'd have to draw it in ourselves. So this is no, it is not given. Okay. Here we have angle VWU, so VWU is congruent to VUW, and that is not given on the diagram, so the answer is no. Okay. Finally, we're asked about HG, which is this line segment here, is congruent to CD. Now they both have three marks, three marks, so that means they are congruent, so this is a yes. It is congruent.